Hello and welcome to summer. If you're anything like me, then the thought of knitting on a really heavy woolen jumper at any time between the months of, let's say, middle of May and end of September just fills you with absolute dread because it is way too hot. And I think as knitters, we tend to just put our hobby aside for the summer months and then just get our stuff back out once the colder days start creeping in. I think that's a little bit sad and over the past few years I've discovered a few yarns that I actually really enjoy knitting with in summer so I thought I would share them with you and I have sorted this video so that I have yarn for basically any price point, low budget, medium budget and really big splurgy budget. So without further ado let's just get started with my favorite yarns you should not miss out on this summer. Now, because I am based in Europe, most of these yarns are from European companies, but I know for a fact that some of them ship worldwide. Um, I know that one of the companies also sells in the US, as far as I'm aware, and uh, in other areas of the world. And I think most of these you will be able to get your hands on one way or the other, because they're quite commonly sold in yarn stores. So let's start with the low budget. So at the low end of the budget there are actually two of my very favorite summer sweater yarns and in fact I have been able to make sweaters with them for I think less than 12 euros which is roughly I think 11 pounds 10 pounds 50 UK um, 14 to 15 US dollars so that's quite quite good. One of them is this darling here. This is Drop Spell. This is a yarn that consists of 53% cotton, 33% viscose and 14% linen. This is made by the company Drops. Drops is quite well known in um, at least in Europe but I think also further afield um, for making cheap yarn but I find that with drops cheap doesn't mean low quality um, so I really like most of their yarns and it's a super good way to save some budget and drops bell I find is um, really 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 nice when it gets warm because the different fibers of the yarn you can see here um, are kind of twisted into one bigger thread but I find it doesn't split when you knit it. And it also means it's quite airy and light also because of the, of the linen and cotton. So I love wearing the jumpers I've made with this in summer, especially on windy days or um, days that are a bit chilly in the evening. And I have two jumpers I knit with Drop Spell here. So let me get them out and show you. My hair is going to be an absolute mess at the end of this video because I'm constantly putting old sweaters and taking them off, but it's worth it so you get a good overview. So here is my sweater knit from Drop Spell. This is the Summer Ella Solo Tee by Lena Holmer Samsa and I have improvised sleeves onto it. Um, they're not full length, they're like three quarter length sleeves. And this is one of my favorite summer jumpers. Um, I think the pattern is super pretty. I am really in love with these leaves here. And then the yarn makes it very wearable in summer. You can see that it has quite a nice light drapiness to it. I also really like the colors that Drops has made for Drops Bell. They are quite classic but mostly like light pastel colors i think they also have it in black so all of the the goths and the audience don't despair um you can have the sweater in black and what i also like about it is this has been through the washer so many times because i honestly wear this jumper all the time i wear it so much it's like my most worn jumper i think overall. I wear this over dresses, I wear this when I think it's going to be cold in the evening, I wear this when it's a bit rainy, I wear this when I'm scared I'm going to get a bit of sunburn on my shoulders even with sunscreen. Like I 
literally I wear this all the time and I think it's also super wearable for different occasions because you can dress it up or down um, but yeah this yarn is so 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 sturdy there is no pilling there is uh, no visible kind of like wear and tear from putting it in the washing machine I am not recommending that you put it in the washing machine I am lazy but um, as far as it goes I've I've done completely fine with it being in the washing machine it's also really easy to care for um, doesn't wrinkle much or anything so yeah this jumper I think really did cost me 12 euros and that only because I ordered extra yarn to be on the safe side um, because I wanted it out of the same dye lot so if you are on a tight budget then to make this sweater um, not taking into account the labor cost of you knitting it because like I mean if you ever want to sell something that you make you should always take this into account but if you're knitting for yourself or your loved ones then you usually don't but if you only take materials into account for this then it is actually cheaper than something comparable you could buy in in, in the store which if we're being honest it's quite rare for for our hobby so yes this is something I'm really happy with and this yarn I recommend to everyone who's looking for cheap but not bad sturdy summer yarn. Um, this is yarn group B um, it says and it says it uses a four millimeter needle and I've used it as a as a decay weight usually. So here is the label again so you can have a look. Drop spell. That was the first one. I forgot that I actually have a second drop spell sweater in my collection. This is, as you will probably recognize, the ranunculus pattern by Midori Hirosa. And for that, it also works super well. For those viewers who might not know ranunculus, it's a pattern that works with yarn of different weight. So depending on which yarn weight you choose, you end up with a very different looking jumper. It can be something super light and airy, or it can be something quite bulky and stiffer for the colder months. Um, the drop spell I find gives me a happy medium when I knit it up into a ranunculus. You can see it is a little bit see-through. You can see the shirt I'm wearing under here and you can also kind of see through under my arm, I believe. Um, but it still has a quite nice coverage overall. And yeah, this is a different color. I have forgotten what it's called, but it was the perfect kind of neutral-ish brown for me. My second favorite lower budget summer yarn is Drops Muscat and I actually do not have a ball of it here because all of my Drops Muscat has been knit up but um, this is it. It's also by the company Drops and I've seen quite a few American YouTubers knit with it too so I guess it's 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 available as well and um, this comes at roughly one euro fifty per fifty gram skein, so three euros per hundred gram, which is, I think, something like two pound fifty, uh, maybe a tiny bit more per hundred gram, or like three US dollar fifty, something like that, maybe a little bit less. Um, so as you can see, this is super cheap, and this is a mercenarized cotton, so it's very shiny. Um, it comes in a huge variety of colors. I think it is super popular for people making baby blankets because it's super sturdy, super easy to clean and easy to take care of, even for people who don't usually handle hand-knit items. Um, for me, it is just a brilliant yarn for summer sweaters. It is, um, I think, something between a decay and worsted weight. Um, as you can see, that uh, summer Ella Solo sweater tee is not letting go of me. So this is the second pullover I have with that pattern. Um, you can also see quite interestingly how it looks a little bit different in this yarn because it does feel a little bit thicker. So the leaves stand out even more. What I really love about this yarn is the sturdiness, um, as I already said. 
and also the stitch definition because mercenarized cotton um, is, has super 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 clear stitch, stitch definition and also it does not split which I really appreciate because sometimes you get splitty cotton yarns and it's the worst it takes all of the joy away from the knitting but not with this this is just perfect as it is and yeah here on the yoke you can also see how crisp and nice it is with that little lace work so yes drops muscat fully recommend um i think the sweater was also like 12 euros something like that so it's really not a dear and i mean if you're knitting a sweater you're kind of happily busy with it for like i don't know maybe i'm slow but like 30 40 hours something like that so um 12 euros for 40 hours of entertainment for me that really does pay off so these were the cheapest yarns for summer that I can fully recommend. There are a few other ones that I knit with that are not super expensive that I also kind of like for summer but these are the ones I can recommend without any restrictions and ores or whatever so um, maybe at some point I'm gonna talk about the rest as well but for now I won't and let's get over to the medium tier pricing. And I'm going to start this with a yarn from Wollen Berlin. Um, it is called Lino Mucca. As you can hear from the name, I think this is Lithuanian for linen. It is a linen yarn and this is a light fingering weight and 100% linen. So you can see it is very shiny. It has this silk-like sheen to it. It's extremely beautiful. And I find that it is way softer than other linen yarns. I think you can even see it here a bit. If you've knit with pure linen before, you know it can be super stiff. Um, this one is actually fine. And um, it softens further if you wash your finished objects. This is something I really love about linen because for me, this is a kind of like emotional thing. Um, objects are made to be used and often we kind of put our handmade things aside for special days not use it every day blah 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 blah. you know how it is and um, especially my mom does that and I knit gifts for her sometimes so I thought it was quite symbolic in a way to give her a shawl made from linen that will only get better the more you wear it, the more you use it, the more you love it and the more you wash it because it softens the fibers more and more and it becomes more and more wearable the more you use it. So yeah, this is uh, Lino Muka and I don't have an object made from it here um, because the shawl I made with it is with my mom, but I think I have pictures so I will put a picture right here now so there might be a five second interruption so you can admire that shawl <laughs> it's actually not maybe the very best lace work I ever did this was one of my first lace shawls it's the out of darkness by Bunetz, and um, it's a mother's day shawl for my mom and so it's for summer so that's why the linen came in super handy and um, I'm still happy with it now, even after a few years. So yeah, this is Lino Muka. Um, I think this is roughly six euro fifty per fifty gram, and fifty gram gives you two hundred forty five meters. So that is already a decent amount. So you need, for most like small, smallerish medium shawls, you need two of these. So you're like thirteen euros or maybe 12 pounds, 14 US dollars down. And I think there's different um, vendors who sell this yarn. So it's worth checking, see if you can get your hands on it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm really, really happy with this. And it is also, which might be interesting for you, machine washable at 60 degrees, which is 
I don't know, I would I would actually not have guessed this. I'm quite happy I'm I'm revisiting this um and this label because 60 degrees is really nice. So you could even make something where you're like, oh I might have to sanitize the at some time and the uh, or the other and then you just put it in the washing machine at 60 degrees. So that's uh quite special. Minomuka. My second medium tier yarn is also 100% linen and this is the Camarose Loft Hunt. I know for a fact that you can get this in the UK because I did get this in the UK via my wonderful mother-in-law who also is an excellent yarn bookkeeper because she gave me this leftover from this specific color which is 402 Nature and she even noted on the back exactly how much was left. So this is the Camarose Loft Hunt and this here is knit out of it, so this is a 100% linen shirt. This is the Kuta Tea by Zari Nordlund. I'm still in love with this. I wear this so much. Um, and this is a slightly thicker linen yarn. So this is 50 grams, uh, 140 meters, and it recommends using 3.5 to 4 millimeter needles. And it's a kind of tube yarn it's kind of knit in itself so um i don't know how you would call it but if you see it you've already seen yarns like that if you knit quite a bit so you know exactly what i mean I'm trying to get it to focus but it won't but yeah here i think you can see that it's kind of made of these little stitches a little bit like those first knitting dolls that we had as children where you just keep putting one stitch over and then at the bottom of it the tube comes out so I think this is made exactly like that. Um, Camarose if I'm wrong please correct me in the comments uh, I know nothing. So this is washable at 30 degrees um, it's it's super sturdy you know, I notice, uh, I, I say this a lot, but it's actually quite important to me because I go on a lot of hikes, I'm out constantly, I'm moving a lot. So for me, having clothes that fit with a like little bit active lifestyle and that then can get washed quite easily um, is really important. And this is also just a beautiful, soft linen yarn. It won't hurt your fingers when you knit with it. Um, it makes this wonderful crisp stitch definition as you can see in the yoke of this tea. It has an excellent drapiness to it. Um, it has this silvery shine and I am completely in love with it. It is I think roughly 8 euro 50 per 50 gram so it is an upper middle tier budget yarn if you're making a whole sweater it can run up quite high but I've also often seen this yarn on sale um, for like a third cheaper or something like that at least so if you're interested in knitting with it but maybe it doesn't quite fit your budget then um, just keep an eye out and also if you if you do maybe it's worth going like as I did here for a tea with shorter sleeves because then you're not using quite as much yarn um, and I mean, I even made mine a little bit longer than they would have had to be. So you could have probably gotten away with using one ball less even. Um, so yeah, this is a, a wonderful middle tier yarn. Um, I recommend this to everyone. I think my mother-in-law was also really happy with when she knitted with it. So if you decide to go for this, then let me know in the comments how you get on. And um or if you've already knit with it, then also let me know that. And uh, yeah, if you would also recommend this to your, to your friends and family. Now we're getting to the top tier of summer yarns. These are quite a bit more expensive. These are splurge worthy yarns. Um, but on the plus side, mostly I think they're used for knitting shawls. So you will only ever really need one or two skeins of the yarn to make a shawl, but still, this is up there and for me these are yarns that I treat myself with usually for for stuff that um, I've achieved or I wait until there is a sale. Both of these yarns are by Die for Yarn which is a company I talk about quite a lot. 
think my cat's going crazy. My cat was going crazy. And um, it's kind of funny to say my cat. I have two cats, but one is more of a troublemaker. So I knew immediately which one it would be. And it was, and my coat is now on the floor. But nevertheless, to get back to it, these are your splurge worthy yarns. Um, they're both from Dye for Yarn, which is a small indie company, a yarn dyeing company from Germany but they do in fact ship worldwide as far as I'm aware. And I think they have free worldwide shipping, which is probably great for you and actually not that great for me because I, I guess it kind of like evens out by making the portion of the yarn price that's calculated for shipping a little bit comparatively more expensive if you're from Germany and a bit less expensive if you're internationally based, but it's super great if you are internationally based because you don't have to calculate around much with shipping costs and stuff like that they take care of that um i don't know how it is with like insured shipping and things like that but for me every single one that i've ordered from them has arrived i've never had a problem with them ever um and the yarn is amazing so the first one i want to talk about is their cordonet silk and i actually have an unused skein here so this is this twisted silk yarn um, and it is which you have to be a little bit careful with because it's actually not that much yardage or meter rich it's 333 meters which is 364 yards per 100 gram strand and a lot of um a lot of patterns that i know use 400 meters of fingering weight yarn um which is, I think, 460 yards or something like that. So this is tough to make a, a small shawl with even. But as you can also see, I managed with this. This is a one skein of that yarn. Mm, I'm too scroogey to buy two of the same color um, because that would be a very expensive shawl. And here you can see the shawl I made. I won't go super into depth about it because I've recently um, talked about it on a podcast episode pattern designer is Anna Victoria and this is the I think this is the to the heart of the mountain shawl um, and there's a lot of heavy beads in it and I think I talked on the podcast already about how much I love it when the beads clank on the table um, which is quite random but just a little tidbit yeah, and this is how it lays around my shoulders. I'm super, super happy with this. And as you can see, the yarn is just luxurious. It is gorgeous. It's so shiny. It's so drapey. It's so beautiful. I um, got a lot of compliments on this. And it just, it just looks like it's made for you going to the opera or um, being a, a guest at a wedding or something like that and keeping your arms warm on a chill summer evening. And also because this is 100% silk, it just won't get warm even when you're knitting with it in the middle of summer when it's like 35 degrees or something like that. You can just have this on your lap um, and you will stay nice and cool when knitting this up, which was also important to me for um, making this video that you could knit with it comfortably in summer. So yeah, this is the Dye for Yarn Cordonet Silk. And then last but not least, there is the Dye for Yarn Tussar Silk. And this is um, 695 meters per 100 grams. So this is a, a thick lace weight. Um, and this is in the colorway Dreamy Easter Egg, which was one of their special Easter colors. The camera doesn't bring it out too well, but if you look super closely, you can see it has all of these pastel hues, pink and violet and uh, a little bit of blue. So it's it's nicely, cutely variegated. Um, I've recently made a shawl from this yarn in a different color. It was the Mother's Day shawl this year that I made for my mom, so I'm going to put a few videos in now.
And yeah, it was lovely to knit with. It is a single strand, but it does not rip easily. Um, it doesn't split because it's a single strand. It made a beautiful shawl. It was um, quite blockable. I blocked it quite aggressively as to make the shawl really nice and and um, and big and it worked beautifully. I'm super happy with this. This is also roughly a 40 euros per skein, so it's quite a lot, but if you have the free shipping, which I think they offer, like don't don't quote me on it, but please check their their store they sell on Etsy. Um yeah, uh, as far as I'm aware they do. Um and yeah, I just I really, really, really love the yarn. Like the only negative point I have about this to salsa yarn is that the blue colorway I was knitting with before colored off on my hands a bit. So I wasn't so happy with that, but I can't see that happening with a lighter color like this one. Um, so that would be my only little qualm taken away and squandered completely. Um, something that you might also want to keep in mind is if you do decide to order from them, they do have a color of the week thing where once a week they pick one of the colors colorways in the shop um, and then that's 10 percent off across yarn qualities for that particular colorway so when i was like budgeting a bit more tightly and this was really an absolute splurge for me um, then i would wait until the colorway i wanted would come up in in the shop um for the color of the week and then i would get it then you might wait a long while um, because they have quite a lot of colors but that's how i used to do it and um something that they also do regularly is mystery colors which i find super fun they did one last halloween i think and they did one for easter so you actually don't know what color you're getting if you're into that but of course, with like a yarn where you're already kind of splurging on it, can be a bit intimidating to just don't know what kind of color you get. But usually that is when they offer variegated colorways. They don't usually do super variegated colorways. Um, and that's also how I got my Easter egg surprise color. Um, but I waited until they showed what the colorways were because for the leftovers after a few weeks, they usually put pictures into the shop and then you can see what you're getting. So yeah, these are my favorite summer yarns and I'm already really excited about my summer knitting. And if you have any knitting plans for the summer, then please let me know in the comments. Also, if you do have any yarn recommendations, because I'm always looking for nice summery yarns to further my collection. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, but you did like this video, then please do not forget to give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe. Then we will see each other again very soon. Bye.